Hello, my earth signs. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading for my singles. Let's take a look and see who's coming towards you as far as new love connections. For some reason, when I started this reading, I was just focusing more so on new love connections, but I kept getting references to people who might reconcile with folks from the past. So we'll take a look and see what pops up here. This is time stamped, so we're going to be focusing first on Virgo and then Capricorn and Taurus. So look at the timestamp descriptions down below in the description box. And of course, it's general, guys, so it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from it what makes sense for you and release what doesn't. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info, as always, is down below. And I'll include the link to my deck shop for these self-created decks that I have featured here today. So we're going to start things off with the Modern Day Seers Tarot and Oracle, Tarot with a Twist. This is my Sugar and Spice Oracle deck, a little naughty, a little nice. And yes, it does contain some racy messages here. If that's not your cup of tea, you're more than welcome to click off and not watch this reading. And we've got the Enlightened Mystery Oracle Volume 2 deck. Okay, so again, time stamped. And let's get started with Virgo and cross watchers are certainly welcome. So let's begin. So Virgo, who is coming towards you? And for tarot messages this time around, guys, I'm not reading reversals for the mini readings. So let's take a look and see what presents itself here for Virgo. Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is letting you know here that you certainly have choices and opportunities for love to come in for you. You've got some options that will present itself to you. Um, a future love connection for you, Virgo, could also be water energy, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We've also got the Empress coming through here representing the Divine Feminine, and it is an energy of fertility, of motherhood. Some of you guys could end up having children with this person, a future love connection, or you're already coming into this relationship having had a family, which is absolutely okay if that's what this person is looking for as well. And if they're okay with that, if you both maybe have children from previous relationships, that could be a part of the connection, blended families for some of you. Now, for my feminines, your masculine, whoever it is that you connect with, a new love connection could certainly find you to be very beautiful, not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. And this is giving you the capability to be able to create happiness in your life on your own in the meantime as well. So we do have the Eight of Cups coming in, Virgo. So more than likely, you have walked away from situations that were no longer working for you. You left that behind and you're ready to open up your heart to new possibilities, new opportunities and new options when it comes to a future love connection. Okay, so you do have the Queen of Pentacles here. So we've got quite a bit of feminine energy coming through in this reading. So my feminines, this could be your own energy. Pentacles could represent your own Virgo vibe right here. Some of you could be a businesswoman, have your own business. You could be an entrepreneur. You could certainly be very generous, a very generous giving individual, very nurturing. And the queen of pentacles is someone who's very down to earth, very motherly. And with the energy of the empress, there's that reference once again to that nurturing motherly type figure. So again, if you've already had children in your life, maybe your children are a huge part of your life and whoever comes into your life as a future love connection has to accept your children as well. Okay, so that's what's presenting itself from the tarot deck. And I'm just guided to pull one more card from this deck and it's the crystal of earth, which again is your own Virgo energy, earth energy. And it does say it's time to get your head out of the clouds and focus on what's happening around you. Be careful what you're investing your energies in. Don't chase fool's gold. You're the real deal. What you're looking for is someone who recognizes your worth and the brightness that exudes within you. Don't settle for anything less than what you're worth. Okay, so yes, you've got options in love and romance, but you also want to make sure that you're making wise choices and that you recognize your worth and that you're not going after somebody who does not recognize that within you. Okay, 
All right, my singles. So let's see what else from the Sugar and Spice Oracle here. Angels and Spirit Guides for Virgo. All right, so definitely recognize the value within you. You are the Empress and or the Queen of Pentacles here. We do have ice cream coming through here. It says, come on, stop holding back. You know you got to have me. You can't resist me. I can melt you with my charms, my smile, my sweet disposition. I'm pretty popular, though, so you better scoop me up before someone else does. I'm just saying. So what I get from that initially, because it is falling right below the Seven of Cups here, Virgo, not every option that comes towards you as far as romantic prospects are going to be good for you. So it is very important for you, as we've got the Eight of Cups here, to just leave those connections behind that you know aren't going to pan out into anything solid. And then you do have the Grapes card here. Our love is like fine wine. It's only gotten better with time. Let's drink two forever. So there is a connection that you can certainly make where it has the capability of withstanding the test of time, lasting forever. And there's also this reference to wine. Maybe somebody really enjoys drinking wine here. We have watermelon coming through as well, Virgo. So for some of you, and we already have cups energy representing water energy here. So your future love could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or they could have water in their chart. It does say, I want to be the one to quench your thirst. I want to be the one to cool you down during those hot, steamy nights. Sink your teeth into me and let me know you want me. Okay, so this is somebody that definitely wants to know that you desire them. But at the same time, you as well want to know that you're desired just as much. Okay, so that's what's coming through there from the Sugar and Spice Oracle for Virgo. So let's go ahead and grab some insight now from the Enlightened Mystery Oracle deck. Let me move these guys over so you can see. I'm running out of room here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see who's coming towards you. This could describe what they look like, letters that could be a part of their name, zodiac signs, where you could meet this person, characteristics. So let's take a look at that. Four Virgo singles. So yes, you will have choices in love and romance, but you want to make sure you choose wisely. Don't go after fool's gold. Your ideal partner will be an entrepreneur. Okay? And the interesting thing about that, especially for my Virgo Divine Feminines, you as well could already be an entrepreneur. So maybe that's how you end up meeting this person in the business world, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Your ideal partner is your ex. Life will find a way to bring you back together when the time is right. So that's not going to be for everybody, especially if you want nothing to do with your ex, okay? But for those of you that do, for those of you that still care for your ex, still have love for your ex, want this person back, there's a potential here that they could certainly return. But you got to be mindful here, Virgo. There's a reason perhaps why you walked away from them, why they are your ex. Is it because they entertained other options in love and romance instead of choosing you? So just be mindful again that you're not chasing after fool's gold. Okay, but it does say your ideal partner is your ex. So more than likely, this is somebody that you know is someone that you want to be able to build a life with again and hopefully make it stick and last forever. Look at this next message. You will marry your next future partner. So that's what you're wanting. Long-term commitment by way of marriage. That certainly is possible. Let's grab a few more here. For Virgo. Some interesting messages. Your ideal mate could be an Aries. Okay, that's for some of you guys. Your future love will not be afraid to show you love and affection, which is wonderful. They love you, they care for you, and they will not be afraid to show you that they care and love you. Look at this last card. Your ideal mate could also be a Virgo. 
like yourself, okay? So that's what's presenting itself here, guys. Just be mindful of some of the people that approach you wanting to get into a potential re relationship with you or even a reconciliation. Just be mindful that if it is an ex wanting to return, that you're not heading back into a situation that you're going to regret later. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, my Virgo singles. I hope that you're able to resonate with the messages here. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and take a look and see who's coming towards you. All right, so we're going to start things off with some tarot messages here to give us an indication of what you're dealing with, what it is that's coming towards you, and future love connections. And it's interesting, guys, because I've had a lot of references to reconciliations through these mini readings for the other zodiac signs. So if you're a cross watchers, and if you're a cross watchers, I can't speak today. If you are a cross watcher, and if you're wanting to reconcile with someone, and if you're single right now, maybe that's what you're looking for. So let's take a look and see what, what comes through here, okay? And for this reading, I am not reading reversals for the mini readings. All right, Capricorn. We're starting off with Archangel Shamuel. I am the angel of peaceful relationships. I can help bring the right person into your life, your ideal mate. I can help you become closer with your current partner. I can help you heal any conflicts in your relationships, attract new love and strengthen your existing connections. If you crave intimacy in your life, I can assist with that too. That is a great message coming through for singles because we're focusing on bringing in that ideal mate into your life. No conflicts, no drama, new love. What else for Capricorn? Love it. We've got Oracle messages coming through for you. So you've got the red rose card coming through. Another card talking about new love coming in. Somebody that you can certainly have this very fiery, passionate connection with. Red Hot Chemistry, as it says, this has the capability of lasting forever. That's pretty amazing. You also have the Duke of Water coming through here, representing the Divine Masculine. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, my feminines, if you're watching looking for love, a future love connection could be a water sign here. This is somebody who is best described as a gentle soul, very charming, very sensitive person. They get along great with people. So this is somebody that if you introduce them to your friends, your family, they would fit right in. Very considerate individual. They're a great listener. They will listen to what it is that you have to say. They're a great loyal friend. As a husband, this is someone who's very dependable in the role of a father figure, very lovable person. So this is a great potential partner for some of you. We also have the Emerald of Water coming through here. This card does say it's time to go with the flow of where life and love want to take you. Being rigid and closed-minded prevents you from growing and finding the many blessings that are meant for you. Remove stagnancy, stubbornness, and stalemate-type situations from your journey. Love yourself enough to see that you are a gem with so much to offer to the world and to the one who is meant for you. So if there's some healing here that you need to do at this time, Capricorn, then this is the time to do it. Go with the flow of where you're being led that might ultimately lead you down the road where you can find that love match, that perfect ideal mate. Okay, now for some of you, a future love could also be the King of Swords. Okay, air energy right there. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is someone who's very rational minded, very intelligent, a man of authority. And this as well could be a father figure right here. So either a future love could already have children from previous relationships or the two of you end up having children together. Okay, so that's what's coming through here. Capricorn, let's go ahead and add to this with some additional insight from the Sugar and Spice Oracle deck. For my singles. So new love is heading your way. 
but in the meantime, focus on loving yourself as well. Recognizing your worth and what you are contributing to a partnership. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. We have honeydew. For our relationship to last and thrive, there has to be equal give and take. So far, it's been me putting in all the effort, taking orders from you and me doing what you want me to do. It's time for you to give back to me, to our partnership. It's your turn to do for me, honey. So if this is what you have endured in previous relationships where it was you putting in all the effort and they weren't doing anything in return, this is just something that you need to be mindful of because you don't want to go back to that same pattern of getting into a relationship where it's always you putting in the work. Because as it says, for the relationship to last and thrive, there has to be equal give and take between two people. Let's see what else for Capricorn. We've got Mocha. I am known for being subtle. You may find that you barely notice you're falling in love with me. Before you know it, you're yearning to have me inside you. I don't come on as strong as any other Joe out there, but I do leave a lasting impression. Let us meet for coffee sometime, shall we? Okay, so this is an interesting card in that you could meet someone, a new love connection. You find yourself falling in love with this person. And before you know it, you guys are intimate and having a physical connection. But you got to be mindful, again, of who it is that's coming towards you. Because you need to recognize the value within yourself. You don't want to get yourself entangled in third-party situations or somebody who's just going to come into your life and not stick around. Okay, so yes, you could find that you make connections where there's this fiery passion, the red-hot chemistry. But they need to be able to offer you more than just the physical connection. So just something to be mindful of there. We have Cucumber. I'm a pretty cool, low-key person. I don't need much, really. I'm typically flexible and up for anything. I just need lots of your hugs, kisses, and affection. I'm kind of feeling here, Capricorn, that this person is more the type that you're wanting to really explore a relationship and long-term commitment with. You know, they're low-key. They're not here to disrupt your life and cause a ruckus or bring in any chaos. They're a flexible individual. You know, you guys can meet in the middle and they just want your affection, your hugs, your kisses, your love. And if that's all you're wanting as well, then this could be the right person for you. Okay? So just be mindful of the ones that want to just come in and be with you physically and not really able to offer you anything more than that. Okay, so just be mindful of those types of individuals wanting to connect with you. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap it up with messages from the Enlightened Mystery Oracle. Now, this particular deck could describe your ideal mate, characteristics, zodiac signs, where you guys might meet, letters that could be a part of their name. So let's take a look at that here for you, Capricorn. So you certainly have some choices to make. New love coming in. You just got to make sure that the one you end up choosing is somebody who has the capability of loving you for a lifetime, not just a fleeting type relationship. All right, who's coming towards you? Who is coming towards you? You will meet your ideal partner at your job. Okay, that's for some of you. Your ideal mate loves to sing and dance, so they could be very gifted in this way. They might be a musician, they might be a singer, or this is just something that they really enjoy. Maybe you do as well. What else for Capricorn? Who's coming towards you? You and your future love will share the same birthday. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Your ideal mate will be an only child. Okay, so they might not come from a very big family here. Let's 
grab a couple more cards for Capricorn. Your ideal partner will have a sweet tooth. Maybe you do as well. Let's grab one more card. Wrapping things up for Capricorn here. Your ideal mate will come from a large family. <laughs> That's interesting because this one says your ideal mate will be an only child. Your ideal mate will come from a large family. So, I mean, these are prospects here. So some of you might meet somebody that ends up being your ideal mate and they just don't have a large family. And then some of you guys will connect with somebody who does come from a large family. All right, so that's what's coming through here, Capricorn, for my singles. Just be mindful of some of the people that approach you wanting to get into partnerships with you. And I mean, it, it could all just be a physical connection for some of these people. So just be mindful of that. And again, recognize the gem that you are within yourself. And Archangel Shamuel is here to assist you as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed these messages. That's what I've got for you, Capricorn. Thanks for tuning in. All right, Taurus, it is your turn. Let's go ahead and take a look and see who is coming towards you in love and romance. Let's start things off with the tarot messages. And for this mini reading, I am not reading reversals this time around, guys. So let's see what comes through here for you. Angels and spirit guides focusing on Taurus. Okay, so we're starting things off with the Duke of Water. A future love for some of you could be this Divine Masculine, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. For some reason, it's so interesting that this particular card keeps popping up. I've shuffled this deck so many times, but this Duke of Water wants to be heard. Specifically, Divine Masculine, Water Sign. This, this is a person who's very charming, very sensitive person. They're a great listener, very considerate. This is someone that you would be very proud to introduce to your family, to your friends. They would get along great with everybody in the role of a husband. This is someone who's very dependable as a father, very lovable, very attentive as a friend, very loyal. Okay, so this is a good person right here. We do have the Hermit card. So for some of you guys, maybe a future love could also be a Virgo. And maybe during this time, Taurus, you're in this Hermit energy where maybe you just need time to be able to soul search, to reflect on where your life has been, you know, certainly past relationships. If you need time alone, take it, you know, and for those of you, again, we're focusing on those who are single already. So maybe you're already in this vibe of the hermit and really wanting to get out of that. And this is what we're looking at here. You've got the six of wands here. So in your love life, Taurus, it does appear that you can certainly find a love that will fulfill you, make you happy. This is a very successful union here, a victorious energy progress that's being made in your love life certainly okay another love connection for some of you could be this baron of air this is divine masculine aquarius gemini and libra okay so we've got water energy masculine and we've got divine masculine air energy so if my feminine's tuning in this could be a future love connection, a new love connection. It's interesting to note, though, that with the other signs, and there's been quite a few references to reconciliations coming through as well. So if you're focused on wanting to come back together with somebody, yes, you're single right now, but you might still be focused on a particular person. Could be a water sign, could be an air sign for some of you guys. So we'll take a look and see how that presents itself here. Okay. So that is what's coming through from the tarot deck. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through for Taurus. So we'll grab some cards from the Sugar and Spice Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides for Taurus. What are the messages for you? So you can certainly be very successful and happy and victorious in your love life. And restoring your self-confidence. Maybe if you, you need downtime, alone time, take it. Okay? You've got pancakes coming through here. And again, we've got air energy. We already have divine masculine air energy here. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini coming through pretty strongly in this reading so far. 
Taurus. So this card reads, I love how simple and uncomplicated our love is. Our conversations are pretty light, nothing too heavy. I can still taste your sweet kisses. You know how to tantalize and satisfy me without a single word. You are sheer perfection and I can't get enough of you. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, somebody could also really love pancakes here. We do have time. You and I, we seem to never have enough. Every moment I get to spend with you is a gift. They say good things come to those who wait. I'm willing to do that for you, for us. I know it all comes down to divine timing. Okay, so divine timing is at play here, Taurus, as far as you finding the love of your life. But when it comes, I have a feeling you're going to be very happy with the outcome. Good things come to those who wait. So this might be a love that might take its time getting to you, but when it does arrive, you will be very happy. What else for Taurus singles? We do have ice, okay? And it does say, you left me out in the cold. I know I deserve it. I know I could have done better, been better, loved you better. Please don't freeze me out of your life. I promise you won't regret it. So here we go again. There's somebody who wants to come back into your life. This seems to be popping up in, with a lot of the signs here. Somebody that you might have detached from. And as it says, you left them out in the cold. Now for some of you guys, maybe that was reversed and they left you out in the cold. But I'm feeling it more so for you, Taurus, that you detached from somebody that you know that relationship ran its course and it was time to detach from it. So it's up to you, of course, if you allow someone from your past to return. You got to just be mindful that this person that you are allowing back in has the best of intentions and somebody that can really fulfill you and make you happy because you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of being in a wonderful love connection with somebody that has the capability of really loving you the way you deserve to be loved, okay? So let's go ahead and wrap things up here for this mini reading with the Enlightened Mystery Oracle Volume 2 deck for Taurus. This deck can describe your ideal mate, what they could look like, where you guys could meet, zodiac signs, letters that could be a part of their person's name, or your name, <laughs> a part of their name. Oh my god, it's been a long day. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. All right, so let's take a look. Your ideal mate will have brown eyes. So that's giving you an indication of what they might look like. Brown eyes. Maybe you've got brown eyes also. You have already met your ideal partner. Look at that. Now for some of you, and as I mentioned, there's someone from your past who wants to return. Maybe that's this person. But whatever the obstacles are and why you guys are in separation, that needs to be addressed. Okay? Look at this card. Your ideal mate will be your twin flame. This is someone that is the other half of your soul, that mirror soul connection, that true energetic counterpart in this lifetime. If you're familiar with the whole twin flame concept, you can only have one twin flame in this lifetime. You can have more than one soulmate, but only one twin flame. This could be your future love right here. The next message, a dear friend will introduce you to your future love. Okay, so that's how some of you guys might make this new love connection through your circle of friends. And as it says, you've already met this person for some of you guys. Maybe you're not romantically linked at this point, but you certainly can be, especially if you're officially introduced by a friend of yours. And I have a card flying out. Hold on one second. Okay, this is coming through for some of you. You're, you will meet your ideal partner at your job. So somebody that maybe you work with or work around or you run into at your job. Your future love will shower you with flowers. I love that. So some pretty nice messages coming through here. 
Taurus for my singles. Just be mindful again of exes or people from your past who want to come back. You got to make sure that what they're bringing towards you is something that will sustain you and the relationship and someone that could really fulfill you and make you happy. Okay. And again, possibility that you have or will make a twin flame connection sometime during the course of this year. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one, my earth signs. I hope you enjoyed this Taurus. And again, for anyone who's interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for tuning in as always, and I'll see you next time. Take care.